Good afternoon, law office. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, John? Can I get some help, please? Uh, possibly. Who am I speaking with? John. Okay. Um, hang tight just a second. Okay. Hey, John, what's up? John? Hello? Hello, I couldn't hear anything. Oh, are you, th are you there? I apologize. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. So what's going on? Well, did I, didn't I tell you what the date was? No. Okay, who am I speaking with? I, I was told this is John Gunther. John? I'm like John Gunther. That's me. It is John Gunther. Okay, you sound different. Yeah, right now, the court, they're still trying to get this figured out, but it looks like it's going to be, um, let me see, March. Oh, damn it, let me look at my calendar. Uh, oh, God, my computer is going so slow. <clears throat> Come on. Happy Valentine's Day. It looks like It looks like March 16th is what they're saying. Wow. Yeah. How could they possibly do this? What do you mean? I, I apologize. I was frustrated with them. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's what we're looking at, is to go in on March 16th to set that aside and get it back on track. Where are you? What do you mean? Where where are you? I'm in I'm in the office. Can I get some help, please? Yeah, absolutely. Come on I'm in and see. Yeah, huh? I, I, I'm in. I, yeah, I will give you a. Yeah, well, I, that's when we're going back in. Why don't I give you a call back a little later on today? Is that all right? Because right now I've got three clients in the office. Come on in and, and somebody's see. Somebody's trying to call me myself. I will call you a little later on today. Okay, sir. Come on in and see me, please. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon, law office. Hello. Hello. Do you remember me? Um, my ears are pretty well shot for the day. Um, who am I speaking with? John. John? Yeah. John, uh, can I get a last name? I just told you. Okay, you're breaking up a little bit then. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. John Gunther? Yes. Okay. So okay, what's going on? Second. Hello? Hello? Hey. Do you remember me? Pardon me? Oh. <laughs> so what's going on? Okay. I, I, I'm told that this is John Gunther, but you don't sound like John Gunther. Wow. Is this John Gunther? Yes. I'm not it doing no good. How? You don't sound like yourself, John. You're speaking so softly, I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't sound like yourself. I'm going to put my speakerphone on. All right. Hang on. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so we're going in. It looks like we're going in March 16th to overturn things and get your divorce back on track. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've got calendared. I'm knocking out the paperwork. I'm hoping to get it in tomorrow. And then uh, we'll go from there. Um, I'm still going to try to reach out to your ex and see if I can get her to stipulate to it, but she's just not, I don't know. I'm, I don't understand why she wouldn't want to be done. She told me before she wants to be done. 
I, I think she's just trying to be a, excuse my language, a bitch. Wow. You're very rude. Pardon me? <laughs> You're very rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been a long day. So okay. That's where we are. That's where we are. Um, is Valerie there? No. Okay. Cause there, she should have her documents tomorrow at some point from the process server. He's going to pick them up from the court and bring them up to her. Her file stamp documents for the conservatorship or guardianship. Am I talking mm -hmm. softer? Can you hear me? Huh? Am I talking too soft or can you hear me? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Yeah, Valerie should have her documents sometime tomorrow, file stamped from the court. Process she server's going to try to get over there in the morning and get them. She has to be in court Thursday. Is that right? Valerie? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. I don't think so. I'd have to talk to you, but I don't know. I don't know. Where is he? Where's Yoon? Yes. He is in a meeting with a client. He's preparing for a trial for tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You know what? Let me let me put you on a brief hold. I'll stick my head in and find out about uh, about that for you for Valerie. Okay? Hold on just a second, John. Thank you. Yeah, Yun says she doesn't need to be in court. What we're asking for, we're asking the court to sign sign over um, temporary letters of guardianship ex parte, which means the judge will do it without anybody showing up. He'll do it based on the papers we submitted. And hopefully mm. that'll come in this coming, you know, the next few days. Mm. Yeah, she doesn't have to be in court. We don't have a court here, court date yet in that matter. Mm. But we have asked for the temporary pa uh, letters which would give her you know temporary power and then the final would come down a little bit later on but at least she'd have something temporarily that says I'm the guardian how could they possibly do this well you'd ask for an ex party you've put, turned the paperwork in you're asking for an ex you're asking for temporary letters uh, I did no we did that's what we're gonna pick up tomorrow okay Uh, Does that make sense? We ask for temporary letters of guardianship, uh, and then we also ask for permanent letters of guardianship. Doesn't make sense judge, to me. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're asking for temporary letters, which will last for a little bit of time until the judge has time to get all the evidence in for permanent letters. No, I can't figure it out. Okay. Well, that's what we're doing. I, I apologize. Yeah. For what? Did I sound like you were bothering me? No. Oh. I hope not. I hope not. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. Well, all right. So we've got March 16th for you, and we'll have Valerie's papers up to her at some point tomorrow. You know what? I just had a friend of mine, she called me from Arkansas and, you know, wish me happy Valentine's Day. And she's, uh, she says it's been a crazy, crazy winter there. Oh, God, I bet it has. They're getting a lot of winter back there and not like us. It's, it's always that winter. way. Yeah. Yeah, I'd hate to live back there. They're getting a lot of snow and ice and cold weather. We're not getting anything out here. <laughs> yeah, I guess I shouldn't complain. It could be a hell of a lot worse, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. So yeah, don't complain. Otherwise, you're going to get what you what you don't want. Uh -huh. Murphy's law. Murphy's law. Well, we will uh -huh. be in touch tomorrow. Either the process server or one of us will come run them up. But those Hang papers on. will be up there at your place tomorrow. At some point. Hang on. Well, what I'm saying is happy Valentine's Day. Okay. 
<laughs> appreciate it. Oh. All right. We'll be we'll be in touch tomorrow, okay? I'm wondering what you're you're doing. I'm drafting a bunch of paperwork up right now. I went to an AA meeting just yesterday. Yeah. I got 25 years since I drank, and I was the worst drunk. Yeah? Yeah. 25 years, that's fantastic. Yes, I know. That's... Wow. That, that's, that is fantastic. That's a lot of willpower there. Thank wow. you. Yeah, that is fantastic. Wow. That's a lot to do. That is a lot to do. A lot of people don't realize how difficult that is to change because it's not just stopping, it's changing your life. Mm -hmm. it's what you do. Very difficult. It's ruining Very my difficult. life. Yeah. When I was a kid, we'd get high. You know what I mean? Sure. I know exactly what you mean. That's... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I started smoking weed in 1970. Yeah. I was 10 years old in 1970. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was 10 years old. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, John, i got to get back to work, but I will definitely be calling you tomorrow. Thank you very oh, much. Point. All right. Thank you. You take care. All right, homie. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. Good afternoon, law office. Hi, John. Hello. Hello. Can I get some help, please? Uh, quite possibly. Who am I speaking with? John. John. Do you remember me? Yeah, we go through this a couple of days at a time. I keep thinking it's it's John Gunther and hand it off to Mike, and it turns out to be John somebody else. That's me. Okay. Hang tight just a second. Hello. Can I get some help, please? Yeah, what you need? My wife's a fucking bitch. Well, we've got the hearing calendar. It looks like it's going to be March 16th. Listen to and this. We're going to get, we'll Listen go in then, this. and that should get us back on track, and that'll put us back to where we can petition just to get the divorce done and leave everything else to the to the wayside. Listen to this. Shit. She's using yeah. my debit card. What? I just told you. No, I, I just... How the fuck did she do that? How could they possibly do this? I don't know. She used your debit card. Yes. Oh, that's crap. She's Two, not supposed to be doing that. You guys are separated. $2,000? Can you do me a favor? Do you have, what do you have, like a bank statement? Can you shoot that over to me? I need to, I need to put that in. We need to get that stopped. Uh, Is there any way you can either take a picture of it with your phone and, and text it to me. I can give you my cell phone number. Let's see here. Hang on just a second. No problem. Take your time. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to take a while. Find out what he needs, and I'll see what I can do. I apologize. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's ruining my life. Oh, no, I'll bet. I'll bet. Absolutely. Shit. Oh, this is ridiculous. Absolutely. You have nothing to apologize for. The FBI really needs to be called on this. That's... <clears throat> she is not supposed to be doing that shit. She is not supposed to be doing that shit. Use others for gain. You know what I mean? It just, it's a new rip filing. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's always that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was 
uh, Lonnie came in and hit me up with something else about uh, something I'm trying to get served. And he asked a question. It doesn't take much to distract me anymore, unfortunately. There's a lot of things in life that don't make sense. I'll go along with that one. I'll go along with that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm heading to my computer here to... All right. Waiting for their site to come up here. Yeah, it can take a while. <clears throat> so what's going on? How are you? I'm hanging in there. How about you? How, well, other than the wife, how have you been? Not so good. No? No. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. Sarah Foss, did she die the same day that Michael Wait, Jackson died? Uh, no, I can't figure it out. Huh. Their website's down. Oh, shit. Well, I'll tell you what. When you when you get it figured, when it comes back up, give me a call, and then we'll coordinate on how to get that so I can put it in your papers. Okay? What's your phone number? My cell phone is 909. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Law offices, may I help you? Hello. Law offices, may I help you? I need to talk to a lawyer of ASAP right away. Okay, sir. Let me just get some initial information from you, and then I can pass you along to an attorney. What is your name? Gregory Johnson. Gregory Johnson? Yes. Okay. And what is a good contact number, just in case we get disconnected? 909-595-2264. Okay. And are you calling on behalf of yourself or someone else? Yes. That's me. Okay. And what type of charges are you facing, sir? They're saying I had sex with a minor. Okay, who's saying that? Copeland Police Department. Have you been arrested, sir? Yes. Okay, are you out on, out on bail? Yes. I'm a bail bondsman, so... Oh, okay. Okay, give me one moment. Uh, I'm going to get the attorney on the line with you. Uh, what? Uh, when did this happen? When were you arrested? Two days ago. Okay. All right. Give me one moment, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for calling. We appreciate your patience. I don't believe please any continue of this. to hold, and we'll get to you just as soon as possible. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi there. I have Attorney Bobby Shimolian on the line with you now. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. All right. Take care. Hey, Gregory. I said hi. How you doing? Not so good. I'm so I'm sorry to hear about everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. Can so I get some help, you? please? I'm sorry. Can I get some help, please? I think so. Let's see what we can do for you. How old are you? I'm seventy-two. Okay. And you were just picked up on Tuesday. How much was the bail? One million dollars. Okay, a million bucks. And who, what agency picked you up? Upland Police Department. Upland, okay. And did you, did you do an interview with them or did you yes. remain silent? No, I did not. You did not what? Huh? What did you say? You you did not. Did you provide a statement? Did they try to interrogate you? Yes. And you did give a statement? Yes. Okay. Who is the, the alleged victim? And how is she related to you? Um... 
my son. Your son? Yes. So, so this is like a granddaughter they're accusing? Yes. Okay. Um, and what did you tell the police? I'm not doing anything. You're, you're not doing anything? No. no I, don't, I don't understand. That's what you told the police? That you have not done anything? Yes. I think it's because you're okay. Mexican. You told them it's complete bullshit. You denied everything. Yes. What do you, do you know what the specific allegations are? False imprisonment, kidnapping, and another kind of false imprisonment. And aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 14. And also possession of marijuana for sale. Why would they, why would they say all this? It's been a mystery to me. Huh. What, and what is, is what, what is all the family saying? Do you have other children? Two. Two other kids. You know, and I know a lot of people would have them, too. Is CPS involved at all? Did you get any, any notices like that? The FBI is in the middle of an investigation. For what? They have websites. They keep track of stuff. I, I have people that go on those websites and then call me. What kind of stuff? Um, aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 14. That's what it is. Right. And... So, but, what, but you said you're selling things online. I don't understand. Bestiality. They charge you with bestiality also? And sales? No. You said they charge you with, with sales of marijuana? Yes. So, what evidence did they find of that? There's a lot of this going on. There's what? I've been arrested about 50 times. <laughs> Dude, this is... This is the best case I've ever heard of. It's ruining my life. The first 49 didn't ruin your life. This one's going to ruin it? Yes. Why it are you acting sense. like this? Huh? I'm sorry? Is this the way you act? I, I, I don't. Is this real? I don't you're, understand. You're very rude. I, I think you're pulling my tail. Can I get some help, please? Please? Yeah, get hold. Hello? Who is this? I just told you. Do you, do you can I have your, your booking number? Excuse me? Your booking number. Let's you're you're a bail bondsman. You don't know where your booking number is? Let's see here. I'm going to it right now. Okay. Three one zero two two seven nine. Not, you said you went to West Valley? No. Where? In Pomona. Oh, I thought this is in Ontario. Hello? So this, this happened in Pomona you were arrested? Yes. Okay, hold on one sec. Sorry. So give me your, spell your last name for me. A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. Anderson? 
Yeah. First name? Lawrence. And date of birth? November 22nd, 1961. <clears throat> Are you there? I am. I'm wondering no, right. what you're, no, no. you're doing. I, nothing came up with that info. Wow. What, what's going on here? I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't pull you up. What's happening, sir? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, then, then this is uh, BS. Hello? I'm here. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? I don't understand if this is real or this is made up, to be honest. I've looked you at it online. You said you have 50 prior cases? Huh? You said you have 50 prior cases? Yes. What, what kind of cases? Public intoxication, and then had another uh, another charge. But uh, just you, you're being. I thought I thought you were joking when you told me that. I thought this is you're just this call is a joke. Possession for sale, transportation for sale uh, of a narcotic, transportation to next felon with a firearm, carrying a concealed firearm. CCW Have you been to state security. prison? Huh? Have, have you been to state prison? Constantly. How many times? Two. So what do you mean constantly? Huh? You, two times or constantly? What did you say? You, you told me you, you've been to state prison constantly, but then I asked you how many times, and you said two times. What no, I did not. No, I did not. Oh, so just, just two times? No. 17. <laughs> you've been to state prison 17 times? Yes. How is that possible? Well, if you don't know, then then this is uh, BS. I, I, I'm not trying to be rude. I, I'm really not. But but I, I just you know I I usually don't have guys that call me that I've had priors that can bail out on you know on a, such a serious on a, such a serious charge. I've been Are you help? available to come into my? Maybe it's better we we talk in person, and I can look up your case so I so I can look up exactly what they're charging you with. And are you available to come into my office? Come to my office. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Now I can. Yes. Come on in and see me. Where is your office? 147 North Euclid Avenue in Upland. Okay. This is uh, I usually, Herbert Belvines. I usually don't. I usually don't go. It's one of your guidelines. Excuse me. 147 North is Herbert Belvines. Yes. This is uh, Herbert is Belvines. Hello? What are you talking about? I know Herbert. I know Herbert Bail Bonds. Wow. So you, you're, this is full of, what are you talking about? Huh? Who, who is this? I just told you. You told me something Anderson. I've been a Bail Bondsman for... 46 years and a cop before that for four or five years. And so, I mean, I think I've seen it all. 
<laughs> this is the best call I've had. I wish Where? I would. I wish I knew what really was to thank them, but I appreciate it. I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. <laughs> I am. You and I have gotten along fine, and but I don't know But this sounds why. like Fred Herbert is a weird thing about this call. <laughs> this is Fred. <laughs> How are you? Oh, just fine. How are you? Good. I'm good, thank God, hanging in there. All right. Uh, thank God I'm hanging in there. Wow. You had me going for a while. So what's going on? I'm working hard, man. I got to tell you, we're we're so busy. Thank God. I don't believe in you any of this. Huh? I went to an AA meeting just yesterday. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Go ahead. Law offices, may I help you? Know, you know that brown shit that comes out of your ass, eat it. What? Hello? Sir? Hello, Sir? how can I help you? Can I get some help, please? Of course, sir. What is your name? This is Fred. Okay. Are you looking Were you at my ass right now? speaking to attorney Bobby Shemoyan? Yes. Okay. Where is so he? Apparently the call drops. Do you tell me where he is? Yeah, he's right here, sir. I can connect you. Please. Okay. Hold on one second. Law offices, how can I help you? Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? Excuse me? Huh? Excuse me, who is calling? What, what's going on here? Who am I speaking with? My name's Fred Herbert. I'm a bell bondsman. Fred, my name is Sabrina, and I haven't, I've spoken to you multiple times in the past. I have not just spoken to you just now. Is there a problem that I need to be aware of? You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Right. What, what is the problem, Fred? I, I'm answering the phone to you for the first time, and I don't even know how long. You, just because uh, John read the receipt wrong to you, you're going you're gonna to act this way? Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? I, uh, are you okay, Fred? Yeah, just fine. I am very confused. I got 25 years since I drank, and I was the worst drunk. Hello. Can I get some help, please? What's up? This is Fred. I know who it is. So what's going on? I'm sitting here watching TV, drinking my coffee. Turn on the TV. Huh? What? What'd you say? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Huh? Yes, I can hear you. I fall in and I can't get up. Can I get some help, please? Dial 911. Uh, I did? No, they don't help us at all. Hello? I'm listening. Do you know you don't carry a conversation? Do you think it's because I'm Mexican? I don't know what you are. What are you? I have never met you, so I have no clue what you are. You could be wow. Asian. I don't know. I don't judge people by what nationality they are. Does that matter? I am black. 
Call. <laughs> you what? Call. I just told you. You what? Whatever. Excuse me? Nothing. Why are you so mad at me? I'm not angry at your sister. You just don't make sense when I talk to you. And you it's and frustrating I, for me. You and, and I are talking to people that talk in riddles. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Because you talk in riddles, and I don't have time to try to decipher what you're talking about. Oh. I, I apologize. It's, it's frustrating to me. No, it is, yeah, that's why I don't talk to you. Because, let's, you know, it's frustrating to try to talk to somebody who's incoherent. Let's start this again. I'm a bell bondsman. So I've been a bell bondsman for 46 years and a cop before that for four or five years. And so, I mean, I think I've seen it all. Are you interested? Well, it doesn't matter what you've seen in the past is where you are today. Today? Yes, I'm right okay. here. <laughs> so what's going on? Nothing. It's always that way. Am I right? Most of the time. Mm. Mm. I just plugged my fridge in this. The what? I've got, I've got about uh, 25 or 30,000 nice nothings. I don't understand what you're saying. Can you hear me? Well, now I can. What? What did you say? They're telling me I'm crazy. Who said that? My plant. And my son. Well, have you considered maybe you are? Yes. Constantly. Okay. Then what are you going to do about it? Now, that's not me. Well, that's not me. I don't believe any of this. Well, okay. Well, I'll tell you one thing. When I hear sometimes the way you talk, I have a son, and he was started messing with alcohol, which he never did. He started messing with drugs, which he never did. I guess it was he had shrap metal in his brain. And you know what? I could not deal with him because he was acting and talking the same way you were talking. I threw him out of my house so many times and told him to go to VA and get some help. Because there's personalities that our brain don't allow us to deal with people who don't try to go, really go get help for themselves. Well, he finally did, after knowing that I wouldn't have anything to do with him, went to VA, they put him on medication, and he's fine now because they stabilized his brain. So I'm telling you the same thing. Maybe you got PTSD or something. Maybe you fell or something. I don't know what happened. Maybe you got it when you were a police officer, but you do have a little bit of a problem. And if you go to the right doctor, you can get the right medication. They can stabilize you, which when you call somebody, you'll be talking straight and coherent. Other than that, no one wants to talk to somebody that they got to sit there and try to decipher what they say. Life is way too frustrating for that. I went to an AA. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I just don't have time. And I'm not a counselor. So I can't figure out what to say to you or what not to say to you. And you cannot carry a conversation with me because you don't, you're not capable of doing it. I went to an AA meeting just yesterday. There's nothing to do with AA meeting. This has to do with a medication. You need to see a doctor that can diagnose you and put you on some medication like they did my son. Because uh, my son was talking just like you. He was just, he, I mean, he's just talking out of his ears. You know, it's like, what are you talking about, Brian? You know, well, you know, this and you're the so and so. I mean, he was just crazy talking, his words. And I hear that coming out of your mouth, and that's what makes me not want to talk to you. 
No, you they need don't. to go to the doctor and get yourself the medication. You're no, not they... crazy. Trust me, you're not crazy. It's just that you need a little bit of help. No, they don't the help us at all. The can do it because he can prescribe you medicine. No, they don't help us at all. Now, if you don't want yes, they can. You go to the right doctor, they will help you. But you can't go to the doctor and not take your medication. Uh, I did? I stopped one time, and you know what? I knew when he did because he started talking just like you. I'm sure you're a very nice person. I know you are. But I you am. Just don't wanna, I don't know. For some reason, you feel as if you can handle this on your own, and you make everybody, people that you know that think you're a nice person, you want to make them be uh, uh, try to be in your presence or uh, try to talk to you, even though you're talking crazy. All you're doing is running up their blood pressure. Because they're trying to make sense of what are you saying. I am just fine. No, you're not. Yes. No, you're not. Yes. You can fool yourself all you want, but I'm telling you that you're not. Oh. So go to the doctor, get you some medicine, and then call me. I'm 72 I no years old. I'm talking to you, but I'm not going to sit there and try to figure out what your conversations are about. There's no way am I going to do it. I'm no, seven, my time. I'm 72 years old, and I've fucked up every uh, every relationship I've ever had. Well, you know why? Why? Do you know why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Give me some more information. Do you know why? Why? No. Because no one can put up with your personality. Is this really happening? You need some help, Fred, and you won't, you won't go get it. You're a nice person. I'm sure you're the best person in the world, but you need some help, and you won't go get it. Why? Can I get some help, please? Okay. Take, go to the doctor. I'm sure you have a primary doctor. Or either go, go for some counseling, and you tell them what your problem is, and I'm sure they'll probably help you. My back hurts. What? My back hurts. No, what? Can you hear me? Not good. Are you eating? No, I'm not. Are you? I am to pepperoni with extra cheese. So you eating pizza? Yeah. Okay. Are you interested? No. Mm -hmm. Why not? Early this early in the morning. Come to my office. No, I don't think so. Wow. Why? Uh, you know what? I got to go. I got to go to South Park. What's happening, sir? Huh? Why are you doing this to me? Hello? Yeah, because I have to go. That's why. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. It's ruining my life. Because you need some help, and you won't go get it. That's why. Do you want me to take you to the doctor or take you to a, a counselor where you can get some help? Please. One day? Please. Okay, one day I'll call you, and you know what? I'll do that. 147. Okay. 147 what? North Euclid Avenue in Upland. That's what me. What insurance do you have? Do you have Kaiser? Excuse me? Do you have, what insurance do you have? Uh, Bell Bunch. What? Can you hear what me? What medical insurance? What medical insurance do you have? It's been a mystery to me. Do you go to the doctor at all? No. 
Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Because I'm just trying to stop him. Has your son just wanted to take you to the doctor? Yes. And you told him what? Who the hell? Why? Why? Yeah, why? Well, because this goes on all the time. Well, don't you think he loves you? The reason he's telling you that? No. Okay, well, let me ask you another question. If your son figured out that you had cancer, and he told you, and you told him that you had cancer, and you won't go to the doctor, and he says, Dad, I want you to go to the doctor, hey, would you go? No. Why? Why? Uh -huh. If you had a toothache, would you, if you had a toothache, would you go to the doctor? No. Okay. Whatever. It doesn't make sense to me. To go to the doctor? No. Hello? Hmm. Well, to me, it makes sense to go to the doctor and take care of yourself, you know, do whatever it takes, you know. I mean, I'm I'm all for going to the doctor. I just had a so, friend of mine, she called me from Arkansas, and she's uh, she says it's been a crazy, crazy winter there. Where? Sitting or lying in the snow. Well, that, and let's see back east. <clears throat> uh huh. It's got to be the Midwest then. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. It is crazy back there. You're speaking so softly, I can barely hear you. I said it is crazy back there in the Midwest. <laughs> Because they got like five, seven, eight, uh, some place, two inches of snow. <laughs> Netflix is real cheap. Huh? There's a lot of things in life that don't make sense. There are a lot of things that don't make sense, but you know what? Things that don't make sense, we can make sense of things that make sense, okay? But then we don't want people not to make sense. We want people to make sense because there are so many things out of our control. Uh, I it. did? What? Do you hear them talking in the background? Hear you talking in the background? Yes. Or is two people talking or what? My son. Oh, your son's talking? No, I don't hear. Mike? How old is, how old is he? 54 in age. Okay, so he lives there with you? Yes. Oh, that's good. No. That's because I'm just trying to stop him. So is he a bail bondsman too? Yes. Great. That's good. Mike? Herbert? That's so what it I is. Mean, where, where do you actually, do you live at the Bell Bondsman's office? Yes. You both live there in that little place? Uh-huh. Just ruining my life. Why? Huh? There's... Huh? Why? How many bedrooms is that? Is that little house? Two. Oh, two bedrooms. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I'll keep my eye on it. You keep your eye on what? 
Mike? <laughs> I think you should let your son take you to the doctor. Do you remember he had the cockatoo on his shoulder? What? I'm not doing your good. What are you talking about, a cockatoo? What are you talking about? In fact, I don't know whether I'm really talking to you or my plant. Okay, I guess I think it's time for me to hang up the phone. Excuse me. If you think your if you think your plant is talking to me, then it's time for me to hang up the phone. Is is this really you? I don't know if it's if you have to decipher that. I just wanted to make sure it was really you. And who am I? Just say hi, Fred. No, you tell me who am I. What's my name? Lawrence. Who? Is this Gregory Stevens? <laughs> oh my God. I'm just kidding. So what's going on? What's my name? I just told you. What is it? And your name again is uh um uh, uh Earl Madman Munch, is that you? What's my name? Carmen E. Avalos. Carmen E. What? Lisa Michelle Sullivan. Larry Elder. Mr. Johnson. How many people do you talk to? Well, I've got a list. You just That's... got a list of women that you call at random, and you just call whoever want to talk, you talk to them. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Scratch me off your list. Goodbye.